Alright guys, the Icky Island expansion is out and it looks awesome, but most important, it adds some really cool, unique new armors and items that will completely change the way you play this game. Some of them even create brand new builds that you're going to have a ton of fun with. So in this video, we're going to go over all of these items that you definitely need to get your hands on right away. As always, a thumbs up on this video would be super awesome and let's jump right into it. Starting things off, of course, with the main new armor set for your character and for your horse. The first one is going to be the Sarugami armor or the monkey armor, which you can acquire from the brand new mythical tale called The Legend of the Black Hand Riku. Now, of course, you can find this if you progress a little bit in the main story. And once you reach Fune's Refuge, you're going to be able to interact with the quest giver and start the brand new mythical tale. Now, this has to be by far the most unique armor set that I played with, and that's thanks to its perks. The first one completely disables your parry but instead your perfect parry becomes a chain of three attacks and your perfect dodge becomes an attack that blinds enemies. On top of that it also gives you a bonus to resolve and your perfect parry and perfect dodge windows are also increased depending on how much you upgrade the armor set in the first place. Now this armor completely changes your playstyle as I've said because you no longer parry incoming attacks but it increases your perfect parries and dodges windows which means you you can perform these new types of attacks against enemies particularly the perfect dodge especially so becomes a free moon stance kind of ultimate attack but with a higher reach and higher damage you essentially spin around and deal a lot of damage to pretty much like all enemies around you and a little bit extra on top of that which is really awesome but the best part about this armor set is that it's a perfect fit with one of the new charms added in the Iki Island expansion and in the new DLC there's gonna be three new types of charms added for the three respective animal sanctuaries in the game including for the deer the cat and the monkey sanctuaries and I'm gonna cover the first one that fits perfectly with the Sarugami armor and that's gonna be called the charm of Mashira's protection you basically get this for the first time you interact with a monkey shrine and then you can upgrade its effects by interacting with the remaining sanctuaries on the island. What makes the Mashira's charm so good is that whenever you heal in combat your perfect parry and perfect dodge windows are extended for a number of seconds. It also increases your cost of resolve by another point but you're not gonna really care too much about it. Your resolve generation is going to be insane with this build anyway but you get that massive advantage on the perfect parries and the perfect dodges. It's a high risk high reward kind of playstyle but with a huge emphasis on the reward part. I went through most of the expansion with this build right here and I had a ton of fun with it and even more so it just makes the combat feel a lot more unique especially after you already played extensively Ghost of Tsushima for the past year which I kind of did already so for me this is an amazing build to have. I might even cover it again in a different video if um, there's enough need for that. Now as I've said this is not the only charm in the game there's a couple more added of course for the other sanctuaries the one for the deer sanctuaries is called the charm of Sugaru's sight and yeah what this does is that it makes your bows to now shoot up to three arrows at once if of course you have enough ammo in your inventory now what's so OP about this charm and yes I truly mean that in the true sense of the word is the fact that if you use the piercing arrows on your longbow yeah now you're gonna automatically track headshots without even trying you're essentially a walking and running aimbot that can one shot snipe any enemy head from pretty much almost any distance as long as they are in the general area of your site. At the same time this also means that last year's Tadayori bow build that I covered here on this channel became even crazier and you can yeah also get arrows back with headshots from that build which means we now have the perfect build for Tadayori so I cannot wait to actually cover this in a separate video. The final one is going to be the charm of Nakama's hunt. You get this from the cat shrines. It lets you throw an additional kunai at targets during a chain assassination to pretty much extend your range. So now you're going to see an additional button prompt when you perform a chain assassination, which is going to be the R1 to throw that kunai. And essentially this means you can now take down four enemies instead of only three. The results are really surprising and really well fitting for the ghost armor. If you're playing with that assassination place, style yeah this is gonna like just enhance that even more and it's gonna make it even more fun and you're gonna be able to reach those enemies 
for way further away. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the second armor set you can get in this game and that's gonna be for your horse. Yes, your trusty companion finally gets an armor set specifically aimed for him or her, depends which one you picked. But this is called the Sakai Horse Armor and you get it from another mythical tale called the Legacy of Kasumasa Sakai. And you're gonna be able to start this from the survivor's camp near the Zasho Bay, right here on this side of the map. Now you'll have to navigate the nearby shipwrecks, which is a jumping puzzle that is pretty difficult, so just be careful with that, but at the end of it you're gonna be able to claim the horse armor, which also comes in with a really cool unique ability. Now what this does is that it will make your horse charge deal more damage and incoming attacks are less likely to dismantle you from the horse. So yeah, you already got that charge ability by this time in the new Iki Island expansion, which lets you kinda charge through groups of enemies with the horse and kinda knock them back. Well, with this armor right here, you can essentially one-shot even, well, the big brutes if you are lucky enough. Like, I believe there's a 50% chance to, like, instant kill them with the horse charge if you use this armor set right here. So it's a really amazing one, by the way. It definitely feels very useful in combat and there's definitely quite a lot of fights in the new expansion that make full use of this new ability. But I reckon you're gonna be able to use this in the old expansion as well since there's plenty of big groups of enemies in yeah the Tsushima Island too but at the same time this is not the only skin for it if you complete some of the side objectives in the game you're going to notice that there's quite a lot of dice for the Sakai horse armor so there's plenty to go around plenty of play styles and plenty of dice styles to pick and just play around with of course assuming that you like any of that there's also an extra bit to this mythical tale right here which is the fact that once you finish it the mythical tale also opens up a vendor back at the refugee camp and he sells the wind kami breath die right here for the sarogami armor which i believe is also one of the best looks for the armor in the game there's also other items along the way and other dies but this is definitely the highlight right there and this, ladies and gents, brings us to the final point on the list. There's some other stuff in there too, awaiting in the Iki Island. And that's gonna be from the Hidden Cove tournament that you again find at Funes Refuge. Essentially, you're going to notice that there's sparring now over there that you can do or duels with wooden swords. And if you complete this tournament and also finish it, you're going to get a bunch of really cool rewards. The first one is going to be the Charm of Versatile Skills, which essentially doubles the effect of the minor charm charms, but only as long as you have one of the minor charms from each category. So for example, if you use two charms from the melee category, it's not going to double their effect, giving you like quadruple the damage, for example, only if you use one for each of the categories, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, it kind of helps like freeing up space and using other minor charms instead. But the main reason you will want to do this mission is because it opens up the Crimson Die Vendor on this side of the map right here, right? Right after you finish that tournament and this gives you access to some of the most brilliant set of skins in the game it gives you access to one new skin in the game for the sakai clan armor and it also gives you access to new red dice for both your sword as well as some other items in there as well it looks really awesome by the way and you also get them for the sarugami armor and all in all this is by far my favorite die vendor right now in the game all in all i'm really pleased with the iki island expansion it definitely adds really cool unique stuff in the game which is essentially exactly what we wanted so i cannot wait to see what sucker punch has in store for the legends mode once it drops in a couple more weeks but this is it thanks much for watching totally let me know down below which one of these charms or armors were your favorite and i'll see you guys in the next one